welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. Before we get started though, what are we drinking? Wise Kraken Bud. Today we're going to be tackling another Canadian movie, 1987's The Gate. But I remember watching it as a kid a lot and loving it, and then not seeing it for a long, long time, and kind of like, mm, is it as good yeah. as I remember it being, right? So... We're going to find out if the gate still stands the test of time. That's right. Steven Dorff is in this. He was in Blade and uh, the new Leatherface movie that came out not the, too long the ago. The 2017 Ugh. version. I didn't mind that movie, actually. I didn't like it. Lewis Tripp is in this. So is Christina Denton. She was in Growing Pains. So the gate is a pretty simple plot, really, when you boil it down to brass tacks. So our main character, Glenn, he's sleeping one night and he has like a nightmare. Wakes up and realizes that the tree that his little tree house is on <laughs> yeah. is being torn out by, you know, the family who wants to get rid of it. Leaves a big gaping hole in the ground. His parents are going away. Glenn's sister, Al, is going to take care of him. His best friend, Terry, has come over for the night to have a sleepover. Have a sleepover <laughs> upstairs. Well, Al throws a party downstairs. <laughs> yeah. The kids start joking about levitation. They coax poor old Glenn to participate in this levitation, right? <laughs> and they start doing it. He's sitting in the chair and he starts actually levitating and coming off the ground and his head all goes into that <laughs> lamp. <laughs> yeah. So that night, Terry kind of has this weird kind of nightmare about his dead mother coming back, wakes up and realizes he's holding the household dog, Aww. which is now dead, the poor thing, he drops it. Aww. Poor Angus. Yeah, Angus, yeah. <laughs> the next day, Terry goes home and he finds out his dad has left him alone, he's gone off to work, he's all by himself, so what does he do? Blast some metal music. <laughs> exactly. Starts blasting this album by a band called Sacrifix. <laughs> <laughs> the album tells the story of how to raise demons and also how to put them back. And when you play it backwards, it tells you how to close how the to, gate. Yeah, close the gate. Yeah, yeah. And send the demons back where they came from. We learned that there needs to be a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice put into that gate. Friends of Al is supposed to take the poor dog to the vet to go get cremated, but the fucking thing is closed. So this stupid asshole... He's all driving around with the dog in like a passenger <laughs> seat, the dead dog. Poor dog. He all takes the dog to the backyard and puts it in that pit. The demons and the minions start to come out and start to raise hell, and it's up to them to try and stop it. All right, so what is the trash of this movie? It's weird, because I remember loving the movie as a kid. Yeah. And I hadn't seen it in a long, long time, and I watched it a couple of months ago, and it was kind of like, ah, oh, it's not as good as I remembered it being. So we decided to do this episode and watch it a third time, the tiebreaker. Ah, oh, it's good, but I felt like it could be here. It could be like a masterpiece, but it's just really good. And I thought what was missing from the movie was the dialogue is pretty fucking cheesy. Mm -hmm. And I thought the acting was a little subpar. Like if they had like some real good actors who could really make the best of the script. And if the script itself was a little bit better, it, it could have been really fucking good. I also thought the movie had too many like false finishes. Like, right. They tease the gate being closed, like, way too many times. Like, about three times you think, okay, they've closed the gate, and then suddenly, and then something, something else happens, and it's like, okay, now you think the gate's closed, and suddenly there's zombies coming through mm. the basement, and it's like, well... What the hell? Like, yeah, what, what's the deal with the zombie? I thought the, the gate was closed, you know? Yeah, and I don't know what the deal is with that zombie anyways. Yeah. Why is there a zombie walking around? There are some things in this movie that don't make a whole lot of sense. Like the zombie walking around in the basement, right? And sort of chasing them. Yeah. Why is there a zombie guy? Yeah, Even though he looks cool. I thought it was demons, right? Like, yeah. Terry has that vision of his mom. Yeah. And it's the dog. Like, what does that have to do with demons? When Glenn gets an eye in his hand, like, what does that have to do with demons? Like, or what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, like, it, actually. They wrote the movie around the effects. It's like, right. we have this awesome idea for all these cool effects we can do. Here they are. And let's write the movie around it. Don't really care a whole lot about the characters, too, right? You need to have strong characters. The movie doesn't really have 
too much of that. Yeah, like you don't really care about Glenn, really. Yeah. You don't really care about Al. You know, when Al and Terry get taken away by the demons, you're like, nah, yeah. you don't even really notice, really. You don't even notice that they're gone. I felt worse for Angus. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it Angus. feels so yeah. terrible for yeah. Angus. Yeah. Oh. So let's move on to what's the treasure about the gate. All right. And I think the first thing and the best thing about this movie is the effects, the practical effects of this movie. Probably some of the best ever done. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Outstanding. For a Canadian movie to boot, yeah. this movie looks fantastic. The whole look of the movie, you know? Yeah. And the effects, like those minions, man, those little fucking minions. They're, they're cute, too. They're kind of <laughs> little cute looking. And... Kind of like the alien yeah. in the first alien movie. Yeah. He's kind of cute. And they're like seamless. That stop motion animation. Oh, it's, it's just seamless, right? Brilliant. It's just perfect. It's funny how you mentioned what you thought of the movie after you watched it, how it was, you didn't think it sort of held up, right? Yeah. But see, I had the opposite thought, that I remembered it being shittier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and the last time I watched it, I thought it was fucking great. Like, I was yeah. like, oh, man, this is uh, this is awesome. This is such fucking way better than I remembered it. Yeah. But the effects have a huge part to do with oh. it. The, the zombie falling and then he turns yeah. into those maggot things yeah. and they scurry under the door. Like, yeah. oh man. Did you see the new trailer for the new Ghostbusters? The mini Stay Puffs? No, I didn't see that one. It's all super CGI, right? Of course. And I was complaining about it on Facebook and somebody's <laughs> like, oh, well, you couldn't do that with practical effects. I replied to the guy saying, Watch 1987's The Gate. If a shitty, low-budget Canadian movie can make you believe that these yeah. minions are real in 1987, I think in 2021... You can do you that. You can do it. Yeah, With exactly. mini Stay Puffs. Fuck. Have you not seen anything before yeah. 2000 yeah. or whatever? Like. Yeah. So if anyone wants to tell me that CGI is better than practical, fuck that. watch The Gate, and then I can tell you to fuck off. Yeah. The story for this movie is, is actually really good. And it plays in, too, with the whole, that satanic panic shit of the time, right? The with, 80s, with metal yeah. music. And you know, they're, trying to, they're trying to cancel it, or they're trying yeah. to put, you know, uh, warnings on albums and yeah. stuff like that. And that's where... That's what they use for this movie, yeah. which is really cool. Back then, when you got a when you got an album like a record, a lot of times you'd get the booklet. The album was a story, was yeah. like a full, you know, interactive thing. An album was a fucking piece of art. And then them using the idea of playing the record backwards, backwards that old to, yeah. trope, you know, <laughs> exactly where yeah, yeah you'd get another story out of playing it backwards yeah. and it just so happens to play into this with demons yeah. and everything right it's perfect yeah it's great it's a great movie for kids i think it's a good kids horror movie yeah i, I loved it as a kid so did i and that's one thing that the 80s did great that we don't get nowadays is a, a horror movie that's made for kids but it's not kiddie yeah exactly it's still gritty and dark and scary almost treats kids like adults, yeah. you know, almost to a certain point, right? The directing for this movie is, I thought it was really, really good. A lot of the shots, a lot of the scenes look fantastic. You follow along with it almost on the edge of your seat, kind of. Yeah. That's the way I felt, anyways. I really liked it. I thought the director did a great job. So overall, I guess we'll have to rate this movie... Treasure. Treasure. It could be a classic... And it's just a cult class. <laughs> right. It just would have done a few more things better. It would have been an all-time great as opposed to something that we talk about. Right, right? it's just like a niche thing yeah. or something almost. Yeah. yeah. Could have been Goonies level, you know? <laughs> yeah. If it just had the, the right actors and a, a little bit of a better script. I agree. Yeah. But it's treasure nonetheless. It is, yeah. It's definitely a movie that I think every horror fan must watch. Exactly. And I think every kid should watch, yeah. too. Kind of like the Goonies, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> every kid needs to watch this movie. This movie <laughs> did spawn a sequel, The, the Gate <laughs> 2, which I haven't seen in ages. Maybe there will be another trash or treasure for The Gate 2 in the future. It's trash. I can tell you that now <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yes, yes. <laughs> I saw it not that long ago. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I all bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad, yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, until next time, keep drinking.